Chicago police are investigating the third mass shooting since Sunday. An innocent bystander is dead and three other people are hurt. CBS News Darius Johnson is live at Chicago police headquarters as police continue searching for a second shooter. Good morning to you, Darius. Good morning, Dana and Mugo. I can tell you that police say it was a shootout between two men. One of those men is in custody at the hospital. Meanwhile, they are still searching for the other one at this time. Take a look. All of this happened at 71st and State just after 530 yesterday evening, and this is one of the victims. 59 year old Simon Brown. His family provided us this photo. Brown was shot in the abdomen. He sadly died at the hospital. Police say he was simply an innocent bystander along with two others. A 49 year old who was shot in the head who's currently in grave condition at UFC and another who was shot in the leg and later dropped off at UFC. Police say the shooter was located near the scene after being shot in the leg. He's in custody right now at Christ Medical Center. We had a chance to speak to a pastor at the scene who showed up just last night. The loss of life is absolutely tragic. The loss of hope is even more tra tragic. I think that my fear is that people will begin to think that this is normal and this is absolutely abnormal. But if we work together, faith, community, civic community, business leaders, we can resolve this. Chicago police are still searching for that second shooter. They have yet to provide a description or any information as to who they are looking for. Meanwhile, they are investigating now the third mass shooting since Sunday. That's the very latest here from Chicago Police Headquarters. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS2 News. Darius, thanks for that update. And right now, Chicago police say they're also looking for two people they want to talk to connected to another mass shooting. This one happened Sunday evening inside a home near 80th and Vincennes. Police say four people were inside that home when two other people came in and started shooting. Three people, including 14-year-old Amir Deese, were killed. A 16-year-old boy was also shot. Police are asking anyone with information to call Area 2 detectives. And in Rogers Park, extra police patrols are expected at Potawatomi Park after a deadly mass shooting there Sunday. That's according to Alderwoman Maria Haddon. We're told the 19-year-old woman who died in the shooting was caught in the crossfire. And another man who was hurt was actually the intended target. Two other people are still recovering.